What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and I'm just so excited for what is in this box right here. I've literally been waiting for what's inside this box for so long. Now, actually it came really fast, but I've been considering buying this for a very long time and I'm so excited that I finally have it. It's seriously been like two years since I've considered buying one of these and I really am super hype to pop it open, show you guys what's inside and uh, start playing PlayStation 4 with this. Yo, y'all are gonna see the thumbnail and the title of this video and be like, wow, he pulled a nade shot. He pulled a nade shot. It's a mystery box. What's in the box, man? Anyway. Oh, oh, what is this? What is it? Can you tell? Here we go, boys. I did it. I did it. I finally got a scuff, finally caved. Uh, after a really long time of telling my, myself, hey, you don't really need one, it doesn't make that big of a difference, or, you know, hey, it would be nice to have one, but it's just too expensive, finally caved, finally decided to pick one up, so let's pop this bad boy open and see what's inside. Comes in a really nice box, honestly. Um, I like this, uh, it's got the scuff logo there, you can see uh, that scuff logo. <clears throat> let's see what's, bam. And got a little uh, product information booklet right here. Going to uh, take a look through there. It's really thick, but it's actually in a bunch of different languages. I already opened this up before because um, I wanted to see what it, what it looked like and make sure everything was customized uh, the way that I wanted. And then right here, we've got the official Omniarch Skuck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so um, I went with all white again. I wanted to keep this as cheap as possible, but I don't want it to be like I don't want it to look just like my other controller. So I wanted to go with the uh, the white front, the white plate here. The build quality is pretty good. I'd say this uh, white plastic here on the bottom it seems a little bit uh, cheap, but you know whatever. Um, overall though. The, the the paddles feel awesome now i've never even used a controller with paddles on the back i haven't touched anything like this before um i don't know anybody in real life with a scuff i don't know anybody with an xbox elite controller um so i had never used anything with paddles before but this feels amazing now i when i saw this like when i first saw a scuff controller i didn't think the buttons like clicked like that you mind you could hear that that is like a definitive click like you know you pressed the paddle when you press that paddle so um feels really awesome i'm super excited to get in game um i did go with like the regular standard domed scuff uh, joysticks i don't know if you can really tell right there but um i don't know how i feel about them to be completely honest with you uh they feel a little bit too glossy like there's not enough texture on them so i'm thinking maybe i should have got them like caved in a little bit um but you know there's something that i think you can easily change out with this i know with the uh, little rings here it comes with a tool inside the box in here oh shit! come on out this uh, little tool thingy I'm sure you guys have like seen scuff openings before but I I've never seen one I never watched one before so this like goes on top of uh, the joysticks here and it like fits in the little grooves and you can turn it and I guess you can like take it apart or something swap out the joysticks I'm not entirely sure I gotta look at this little product menu to figure that out but um, if it's something that I end up hating I can always change the joysticks I believe and it doesn't look like it's too hard also I did go with a military grip on here I don't know if you can really see it too well it's all textured and stuff um, I I definitely like it i definitely think it feels better than just the standard uh ps4 you know barely textured it's like i'm sure you can hear that you kind of know the texture of the back of a ps4 controller so i think it's better than that so far uh we'll see how it how it is when i'm actually playing the game if it'll if it'll make a difference at all i'm not entirely sure if it will um but you know i figured i'd go for it because i do get really sweaty hands when i'm playing video games and it really sucks and i hate it i figured you know what i'm gonna spend the extra 10 bucks or whatever or whatever it was to get the custom grip on the back hopefully that will uh you know keep my hands really glued to the controller and uh it does feel cool i don't know uh you know how effective it is obviously i haven't used it yet but um we are going to test this bad boy out uh today with the beta i'm super excited to be able to do that and hopefully um i'll be able to get used to using the paddles pretty quickly just start getting better at call of duty because your boy is trash now i know a lot of people are like oh my god you're actually not bad like i've definitely seen your gameplays you're not that bad but you gotta understand i record a lot of gameplays so you know I, i'm bound to get good gameplays after a while now i'm not saying i'm actually bad because i am better than the average player but uh, 
I'm not like an amazing pro player like some of you guys think I am. So hopefully this will uh, increase my uh, KD by a tiny bit. If, if only a little bit, that'd be cool. It'll make me a little bit more competitive in those, you know, flying through the air gun fights. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited to, you know, finally pick up a scuff controller. I figured it was, it was time, you know, uh, because it, it, Infinite Warfare is right around the corner. I will have it for launch. And uh, I can get used to it, you know, and and start just just destroying people. So I'm really excited to get to use this. Um, it's it's been like a thing, like I said, for a while that I've considered, it, especially in Advanced Warfare, um, but also in Black Ops 3, where you know I feel like you have a huge advantage if you're able to jump with the paddle and keep both of your thumbs on the joysticks. It helps you hit them with that movement and get out of the uh, range of sight of your opponent, but also continue to shoot them effectively because you still have your thumb on the aiming joystick. So that's the whole idea behind that if you guys weren't entirely sure why pro players use scuff controllers or what the paddles are for. Um, also you can, you know, melee without having to move your finger off the, the joystick. Now that's obviously less effective in Black Ops 3 and in Infinite Warfare now because the melee isn't insta-kill, but uh, it's still, you know, something that you could potentially want to do. But um, anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Big moment for me, big moment for your boy, and I figured I would let you guys know that I do have a scuff now. I wanted to show you the customizing that I did. Really all I did was I got it white with the uh, the military grip and then i got the white rings around the joysticks anyway thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys don't notice that my voice sounds like shit i literally just woke up and i just laid on twitter for like 30 minutes got up ate a little bit of food and then turned on the camera so i sound like complete shit so hopefully you guys don't mind or can't tell or whatever but anyway like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you smack a like on it i would really really appreciate that Some more videos coming soon advanced warfare modern warfare remastered all that good stuff so if you're new around here you don't want to miss any of that stuff make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one and like my previous videos and that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys again soon peace